Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we're gonna talk about what an object is and what's the difference between an object and a class. So let's go! Don't forget this channel has a dedicated Discord server. It's a place where you can talk about the episodes and tutorials of this channel. Maybe you wonder something about the last episode that was a bit unclear. Or maybe you just wanna say hello. And for those who wish to go the extra mile to support the channel, there's a link to my Buy Me A Coffee page, and also there's a membership option here on YouTube. Thank you. What is an object and what does it have to do with a class? A class can be considered the blueprint of something. For example, a house. Then, if you want to create a house, you create an object of this class. The object can be considered the creation of the blueprint, the class. We just need one blueprint, a class, to create as many houses, objects, as we want. Let's make a house class and let's make an object of that class in the code. And we create the class just the way we did the last time. So, right click, source, new, class, and uh, we can call this house. And we can leave everything as is. We don't need to press this public static void main because we already have one in this project and we only need one per project. So we can just leave it as is and then finish. And now we have another class called house. But I'm just going to take this and drag it to the right here. So we have the house on the right side and the first lesson on the left side. Easier to see instead of jumping back and forth. And I'm just going to create two objects here two different ways. First, we're going to create a house object and we're going to call it my house and we're going to give it equals a new house. And then I'm going to create another house, house, uh, your house. And then I'm going to give it a value. Oops, like so. And uh, here we have two different ways of creating a object. Here we do it in one line, perfectly fine. Here we're doing it in two lines. First, we're declaring it, and then we are creating it. Here we are both declaring, and then we are creating it. First part here, we're declaring that this new object will be of a house object. And we're also making a reference, or creating a reference for it, and we're calling it my house. The declaration is just saying, I want a new object here or I want to create a new object. I haven't created it yet, I'm just telling the program I want to be able to create it. And I want the reference for this object to be my house. And reference is in simple terms, just a name, so whenever we want to access my house, I just say my house dot and I can access all the methods or values in here. So declaration is just telling the program I want to be able to create an object and I want it to be of the type house and the reference will be called my house and I can name it whatever I want but I want to call it my house and on the right side here we are creating the object and now the reference will be able to access this specific object and here I'm declaring that there will be a new object and the reference for that the name will be your house semicolon and I just told the program I want to be able to create one here's the reference for it and it should be of type house but it's not been created yet. And here I am creating the new object and I'm using your house as the reference for this new object. So here we have one object, here we have another object, both of the type house. And if I wanna access this object, I just call my house. And if I wanna access this object, I call your house. In the next episode, we will cover constructors and what they are used for. We will also be able to call methods inside the house class from our first lesson class. Thank you guys for watching, have a great day, bye!